Welcome back. Based on the nature of the business the purchasing organization is in and the nature of the item that is being purchased, there could be different criteria and methods for select. And perhaps the three most important factors in selecting supplier are quality, delivery reliability, and cost. And you could notice that uh, we are mentioning cost here, not the price. And we will discuss this concept of total cost of ownership in the next lecture. So once the decision is made about what to buy, the selection of the right supplier is the next most important purchasing decision. So this is a survey performed in 1966, where 23 factors uh, that were considered in uh, selecting suppliers uh, were surveyed. And in this survey, the quality was found to be the most important factor, followed by delivery reliability, then performance history, warranties and claim policies, production facilities and capacities, uh, price, and so on. Another survey that was performed in 2003, the net price was found, uh, was found to be the most important factor used in uh, selecting suppliers, then quality, delivery reliability, production facilities and capacity, technical capability, financial position, and so on. And of course, you could find results of similar surveys uh, from. But the point here is that a number of factors could be considered, and this is, of course, a long list. And generally, organizations might be using somewhere between three to six factors uh, practically in order to select and evaluate suppliers. And each organization, after listing down the factors it will consider for selecting and evaluating suppliers, will uh, define the factors. For example, what is actually meant by manufacturing capability? What manufacturing capability entails? What, for example, reliability entails? What uh, after-sales service uh, has in? It, in, in its definition. So it is important to clearly define the factors that will be used to select and evaluate suppliers so that suppliers are clear about the factors they will be uh, evaluated against. And there are a large number of methods that can be used to select suppliers. This is a list from a study performed in 2010. So it's, it's a long list, of course. We will briefly see two methods, analytic hierarchy process and weighted point method. So in AHP, uh, this is hierarchical approach. So first of all, there is an objective, then there are some criteria and uh, this uh, criteria could have sub criteria as well. And the third level is alternates. So here the goal is supplier selection and the organization could have a list of uh, criteria and the criteria could have sub, sub criteria. So as I mentioned that each criterion needs to be defined. So here, for example, product development capability is defined as the maximum size of the casting that the organization can make, the complexity of the casting that can be performed, minimum section thickness, software aid, and pattern making. So these are five sub criteria that collectively define this main criterion that is product development capability. Similarly, cost and time is defined to be comprising two sub factors, total casting cost and sample delivery time. And then the third level are the alternates, the alternate suppliers that are available for this product that is being uh, outsourced. So in summary, the uh, AHP method has uh, two matrices that are formed. One is criteria versus criteria. So which of these criteria are more important than the other? And the second is alternate versus alternate for each of the criteria. So that is the second matrix. And both matrices are multiplied together to find the final score. So this is the matrix of criteria versus criteria. So from here, we can see that product development capability is more important than manufacturing capability. Uh, it is more important in quality capability as well as time and cost. So product development capability 
in this case is the most important criteria. Similarly, the manufacturing capability is more important than uh, time and cost, but it is equally important than uh, quality capability. And quality capability is more important than, uh, than time and cost, but it is equally important to manufacturing capability. So in this way, comparisons can be made and the sum of the weights uh, is equal to 1.00. So as a whole, in this case, we can see that product development capability is the most important factor, having a weight of 0.47 out of 1.0. Quality capability is the second most important factor, having a weight of 0.23 out of 1. Then manufacturing capability and time and cost is the least important factor in this case. The second comparison is of alternate versus alternate uh, for each of the uh, criteria, but as uh, this uh, example has sub criteria as well. So the comparison of sub criteria within a main criterion is also uh, done. So product development capability had uh, one, two, three, four, five sub factors. So these are compared together. So each of these five sub factors are given weight out of this 0.47. Similarly, the sub factors of manufacturing capability are further given weight out of this 0.18 and all is done based on pairwise comparison. And finally, the final score is also uh, assigned out of 1.0 based on the a series of pairwise comparisons. So in this case, we are having three suppliers. So the highest score is obtained by supplier B 0.38, then supplier A has 0.33, and supplier C has 0.28. So in this case, the supplier B is the best supplier. And you could see that this final score is also out of 1.00. Not only you could use this method to select suppliers, but also uh, to evaluate the performance of suppliers. Uh, as they keep on supplying the items to the organization. A similar method, but a simpler one is weighted point method. So in this method, just like ASP, we have some factors, we, we assign some weights to the factors, and then we rate the suppliers against uh, each of the factors. But the process is relatively simpler. So for example, in this case, we are having five factors against which the suppliers have to be evaluated and we have assigned certain weight uh, to each of these factors. In contrast to AHP, these weights are intuitively assigned based on judgment and experience instead of based on uh, pairwise comparisons. So for example, this first factor is given weight of 10 out of 10, the second is given weight of eight and so on. It is not in this case, but it is recommended that some of these weights should be uh, out of uh, 100. So the comparison becomes straightforward, but this is not the case in this example. Some of the weights is not 100. Then we have assigned a rating to the suppliers, again, based on judgment, experience, and intuition. So for example, for first factor, the supplier A gets a score of 8 out of 10, supplier B gets a score 10 out of 10, supplier C 6, and supplier D 6 out of 10. Similarly, for this third factor of service, supplier A gets a score of 9, B gets a score of 4, then 5 and 7. So, of course, the better a supplier is at uh, a certain factor, the higher the score is. Then the suppliers are ranked by multiplying weight uh, with the uh, rating of the supplier. So in this case, we will have 10 into 8, 80 for supplier A for the first factor, then 10 into 10, a score of 100. For supplier B for this first factor, supplier C will have a score of 60 and supplier D will also have a score of 60. Then we will add these scores together to get the final score for each of the suppliers. So this is what we get. So we add these weighted scores. And again, these weighted scores are the product of 
weight of the score and rating of suppliers against that factor. So these weighted scores are added together and we get a cumulative score and the supplier that gets the highest score is selected. And again, like AHP, you could use this method not only to select suppliers, but also to keep on evaluating suppliers and you could decide a certain range. For example, say if you convert this score out of 100, so for example, suppliers having a score of uh, from 90 to 100 might be classified as A category and say from 80 to 90 to be classified at category B and suppliers have a cumulative score of 70 to 80 might be categorized at, uh, as category C or as platinum, gold, silver or some other classification like this. The next segment we will discuss range of buyer-supplier relationships. Thank you very much.